Hello, Nigel Bursna here. I am the Member Relations Coordinator at Peterborough and Kawartha's Chamber of Commerce, and I'm very excited to be here today with Elizabeth King from Lang Pioneer Village. Elizabeth, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Well, we're very excited to have you. Elizabeth is the Museum Operations Manager. She's the head honcho over there, and we're excited to hear more from her. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about your position? All right. So, well, as you said, I'm the head honcho. I like that, actually. I might adopt that. <laughs> um, so I'm the Museum Operations Manager here at Lang. I'm fairly new to the role. I've, I haven't been in it quite a year, um, but I'm not new to the museum. I've been working at Lang for about 13 years and sort of worked my way through all the different roles. And uh, now I oversee pretty much everything to do with the museum, the collection, the programming, uh, the volunteers, the people, um, every, everything sort of, yeah, the buck stops with me. <laughs> Perfect. Well, it's in good hands then I see. So that's awesome. I hope so. <laughs> I try. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, so exciting news, you're opening on Tuesday, May 24th. What does that look like for the community? Yeah, so we're pretty excited about it after two years of having to do, you know, different programming. Um, our museum's focus is living history. So it's really important to us to actually get the interpreters in the buildings, the farm animals on the site and visitors actually coming and experiencing it and touching things and seeing and smelling. So having to pivot and do different things over the past two years has been um, tough, but we are so excited. The farm animals come next week, the staff are in training this week, and we are going uh, like full speed ahead back to the living history program where visitors will come and they will go in a building and an interpreter will be there with the fire going, cooking on the stove or, or you know, working the iron in the blacksmith shop. And I, if it doesn't come across in my face, I'm so excited about it. That's awesome. I, I remember going there um, in the past and even last year for filming for excellence and oh, there's some really cool stuff to see. So it's, it's definitely awesome and exciting for the community. Do you have any uh, new exhibits this year? We do actually. So um, anyone who's been to Lang will have been to our Abnabin camp, which is um, it's the newest uh, building or structure in the village. However, um, we have started we've we've started a new exhibit called Abnabin, looking back to where we came from, and it's an orientation exhibit to the village. So the first thing you do when you come here is you would go into the exhibit, um, and there's an orientation video that basically lays out who came, why they came, how they came, and the impacts that that had on the local Indigenous people who were already here. So that is a, a new permanent exhibit, so it'll be here, you know, forever now. Um, and we also have a springtime exhibit on called Crosscut. It's in the Peterborough County Agricultural Heritage Building on the site, and it's a really cool exhibit. It is um, art prints, lino cut art prints, that are um, pictures of or from, derived from local folk music. It's wow. hard to explain, you have to see it, but, they, but the group that put it on took traditional tunes that you'll often hear played here at the museum and created visual art to go along with them. It, it's very neat. Wow, that sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. I'll, have to, I'll have to get back and check it out this summer then. We are doing a concert related to it of all the songs that are represented in the prints later on this summer in August. Oh, cool. Okay, so something to stay tuned for, everybody. Yeah. So exciting news in August. So speaking of August and summer, uh, mm -hmm. do you have any other special summer programs? Yeah, so we actually are planning to run our normal uh, complement of special events, just like we would have uh, in the past. So it starts off, we kick off the season with our Father's Day Smoke and Steam. This is our 25th annual um, and we're pretty excited about that. That is just a celebration of everything to do with uh, pioneer power or early forms of power. So steam, fire, we even have a dog, uh, dog power in one of our barns, <laughs> horse power, that sort of thing. Nice. Uh, and then we slide into July with our transportation day car and motorcycle show. Uh, and that's where the whole village is basically taken over by antique and classic cars and motorcycles. We also have bicycles coming this year. Uh, we have a whole bicycle display going on uh, again in that Peterborough County Agricultural Heritage Building. Um, and then we go into August with a really neat event we've never done before. August, we tend to try and like switch things up. So this year we're doing uh, Tying the Knot, which is 
an entire day event based on wedding traditions and why we do the things we do now compared to what it looked like back in the 1800s and where they came from. Very cool. I wish that was last year because I just got married two weeks ago and it would have been great to have some of these uh, pointers. So well, you know what? You can come and you can get all the information and you can talk about it on your anniversary. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Actually, That's awesome. One of the, one of the, sorry to interrupt you. One of the neat things about that event I know is our event planner is asking brides and bridesmaids to come to it dressed in their old wedding dresses and their old bridesmaids dresses because they never get to wear them again. So we're hoping That's we have awesome. the village just filled with you know, wedding gowns and bridesmaids dresses from like the seventies till now. It would be great. <laughs> that sounds awesome. And I'll have to dig out my suit. It can't be that far away. It was only a few weeks ago. So <laughs> yes, you know what? Suits would be great too. I should have said that as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't have a dress to wear. So I yeah, know. well. Perfect. All right. Well, that sounds awesome. We're all very excited about it. So while we're talking about summer, let's just end off with one little more personal question. Uh, what are you most excited for about Peterborough and the Kawartha's this summer? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I'm kind of a cliche. I work at a museum and I love museums. So I am super excited that other museums are going to be open as well. And I plan to get outside and get out to those museums and check them out, see how, what they're doing as we like move forward. And um, you know, the museum industry really needs some love right now. So I am there to help them as well. Perfect. Well, it should be the summer of museums for everybody. So get I outside, so. see some places. Um, there's so many great spots in this area as well. So we, thank we you. Absolutely do. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for all the work you do at Lang. Congrats on, uh, on the new role for you. And thank we're very you. excited for, for the future of Lang under your leadership. So well, thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing this. And uh, we look forward to seeing you out there uh, at Lang Pioneer Village. Please do. Have a great day. Perfect. Thank you.